Hey everybody, how's it going? This is The Avengers. This is season one, episode number 20, I believe. And this is Tunnel of Fear. This episode I know was a one that was discovered quite recently because someone very kindly sent me the DVD because I think you can get it on Amazon. But other than that, I don't really know anywhere else where it's available. So I'm looking forward to watching this because Tunnel of Fear sounds like we could be maybe underground. We could be in, I don't know, like an amusement park or something. I don't know. It could be like, you know, like ghost train rides or something. But then we've also like learned from previous episodes that these things don't seem to have like a linear narrative. But that's mainly because obviously there's so many of these episodes missing and I kind of do feel like I'm just getting snapshots. But it's still really fun to watch it. Last episode, we met Steed for the first time. So that was interesting. I actually really liked him. He made me smile quite a lot and I liked the relationship that he had with the Doctor. I thought it was a really nice little friendship that they've obviously formed over these episodes that are missing. Um, someone did also send me like missing audios. I think it was, so I probably will give those a listen to at some point. Don't know if I'd do any kind of review things in regards to them, but it depends kind of how I get on in this in the show, really. Like, how difficult it is for me to kind of fit doing this around work. So I'm actually really looking forward to watching this one. I don't know how many episodes were in a season, maybe 23, 24. So this was obviously toward the end and it's, I think it's only four or five episodes after The Frighteners. So this is going to be an interesting one. Let's go. I love that she's still around. I hope she sticks around for a while. It's right, I'll send you. I like her. I think I can just spare three seconds. My escort starts. Thank you very much. Doctor, I want to see him. I want to see him now. Doctor, yeah? Who picks me up, can you? Sorry, I'll just have an accident around the car. <gasps> no, we don't need you. Please, Doctor, we don't need you. Be nice to her. Carefully. It's my shoulder. Shot. Stabbed. Dislocated. Right, Nothing of the sort. Oh, she's going to miss her film. So we can. It's still light out, though. Ruined your suit. What happened? Oh, I'm walking down the street and this car... Hit him? None of these people ever passed the test. Hit you? I drove right through me, it's more like it. Hey, what's that for? Just something to ease the pain. <gasps> oh, no, you don't. I'm not having that. Look, Doctor, I don't want it. No one's put it in me to sleep. This won't put you to sleep. I've told you, it's just something to ease the pain. And I've told you I don't want it. I can't go to sleep. I, I don't know what's going on. I... Oh, someone's after him. things when they put me to sleep. I, I do things. Right. I don't think I've ever been to see the doctor and the doctor's wore a suit. Uh, do things when they put you to sleep. I know this guy. They make me. Who are they? Who are they? Look, it's none of my business to judge you one way or the other. If you came into my surgery and I'm helping you, I might even go on helping you, but first you've got to help yourself. Tell him what happened. Uh, breaking out of jail. As much as he knows, I guess. Way of doing that. You'll call the police, and then I'll promise to do whatever I possibly can. How's that? Yeah, back inside, and I'll throw the keys away. That's what'll happen. One ten. Yeah, I'm in a hurry. What is it? Uh, can you give me any information? Prison break. There's no such thing, theoretically. Yeah, well, in practice, who got out today? Hey, hello? You yeah, see, there were two of them, Harris and Black. Harris was picked up in a couple of hours. What about the other one? And Harry Black. Okay. Yes, he was on a working party in a large market garden. Last seen in the south West London. The witness said his face was cut. What was he in for? Theft. Ah. He stole the weekend takings of the fun fair where he worked. It wouldn't be South End by any chance, would it? As a matter of fact, it would. Thank Excuse you. me, are you Mrs. Black, Mrs. Mary Black? Of oh, course, yes. Who wants to know? Well, uh, my name's Keel. I wondered if I could have a word with you. Well, of course, why not? Oh, she was in Harry. something else I've watched. Harry? Your son. I haven't got no son. <gasps> You're the Mrs. Mary Black of 32 Parade Street? I'm sorry. I don't have no son. Never did. And barring a miracle, I never will have. Excuse me, I don't think these are quite fresh. I beg your pardon. <laughs> oh, people have seen that. Oh, well, except you're right. I'll give you another lot. Who give you this letter? Harry. Who are you? Well, I, I'm a He's a doctor. Visitor. I used to visit Harry. Watch it. It's quite warm for time yet, isn't it? Warm? I'd say it was too ruddy hot. <laughs> I've got to talk to you. Look, would you like to tell me what happened? Well, hasn't he told you? Not well, really. I, I'd like your version. 
Well, it's like this. You see, the night of the crime, him and his girlfriend, Claire, they went off to a party. They had a bit of a set to about something, and she went off in half and said she was going down to sleep at her mother's. Where is now, Claire? Now, Annie just sat on there brooding about it. He don't remember going down to nothing. When he wakes up in the morning, he's in his own bed. Did someone and drug someone him? That's why he didn't want them to give him the needle? They comes in, finds the money in his clothes. <gasps> You know, they give him something at that party, I'm sure of it. Mm. One of them knockout drops. Ah, I'm not going to tell you what the prize is, but you've seen no, the quick. sample. Go and get a cop. Tell him Annie Black has just gone to the girly girly tent. <laughs> I love the change in music. I <laughs> was like, massive segue. I know it looks bad, but you've got to believe me. Well, they're making it very difficult for me. Look, I had to get down here. I've got to clear myself. What happened so to Steve's to dog? Give up now. Does the dog just run away? Don't you understand? I can't take any more. All right. But no more tearing about. I wouldn't stay for the encore. The law is about to pay us a call. Quick, that way. I hope there's a way they can get out. With uh, the police notes and... Messy, what's going on? It's Harry, me after Harry. Who? Harry? Can't be. I've seen him. You mean Harry Black? Yeah. And Mr. Keel said he was in London. Keel? Yes, that's the bloke what's trying to help him. Are you sure it was Harry? Who's this other chap? Keel. What's his angle? Yeah, they've totally set him up. He'd better get Wickram. Here, what is this? Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? in the nighty. Harry, you hurt. What's that done to you? That's nothing. It's a bit of an accident. Who's he? He's a doctor. He catched me up. Look, there's nothing to explain now, but he's trying to help me. Well, the cops, they've been here before today. You better ride. Quick. No, I'm in there. Oh! Oh, sorry, miss. <laughs> We're looking for two men. Two men? Well, I haven't seen anyone. Oh, I suppose not. Beg your pardon, miss. You haven't seen anyone? Well, I'd hardly be standing here like this, now, would I? Sorry, miss. Oh, just a minute. Yeah? I heard someone running a few minutes ago. Which way? Towards the pier, I think. Thank you very much, miss. Oh! Do you really think it's a good idea to reconstruct the crime? Well, it's just possible we may find something out. A clue? It's a little strange that Harry can't remember anything at all. Well, I still don't understand. Who'd want to frame you? Um, Everyone at work, apparently. I don't even know why. This has been driving me crazy all these months. Well, let's go back. You were at the party. That's the last thing you remember. Yeah, that's right. Your mother seems to think you were drugged. Well, what else? I don't think. Well, perhaps you were drugged then. Taken back to the fair, into the office. You didn't know anything about it. Look, Doctor, my, my handkerchief was stuck in the, in the alarm bell. My fingerprints are all over the safe. I, I mean, you... Well, where do we start? The well, fair. It happened, I think. We don't think we should waste any more time. The fair should be closed by now. Have you got everything you want? Yeah. You're a friend of Dr. Keel's, you say? I'm not the world heavyweight champion, that's for sure. Excuse me. Here, what's been going on here tonight? <laughs> Dancing. Oh, it was a title fight, I told you. I know, but apart from all that, there's more in this than meets the eye. And yours are rather lovely. Oh. <laughs> Good night. Good night, <laughs> Good night Doc. Smoothie. You are his mummy. That's right. You know the police have caught up in them yet? Not that I've heard. Oh, has he got a gun? Anything unusual? No, sir, but I'm ready for it if there is. All right, keep your eyes open. Lord. Black is loose. You may come nosing around here. Tonight, we don't want any interference, do you understand? Right. Not fast. Get to work. Yes, sir. Get to work doing what? Uh, this is how you get in. He said I picked the lock. Ah. <sighs> do it, then. Can you not pick locks? Oh, no, he can. He can pick locks. Did you know the contacts were up there? I don't know. Three, Is he Billy? Two, one, zero. He's the hypnotist. You are now under my control. <gasps> oh, this is how they did it. This is how they got him to do it. They hypnotised him. Who do you work for? Who do you work for? I don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody That's knows. What doing here. Why have you come here? Why have you come? Why Harry, Black. Harry Black. Harry oh. Black. Billy. Yeah. 
You know what you said in the office? Yeah. Was this Billy Flowers at the party that night? Yeah, he was there. Or was he playing around, you know, hypnotizing people for fun? Yes, he was. Yeah. Did he work on you? Yes. Well, that could explain a lot, couldn't it? Someone in authority might believe his story about being framed, but I doubt it. A man who was with him? Keel? Oh, no, they all a cop. Here, Maxie, you've got to help me. Yeah? Yeah, I think I can prove I was framed. I'm sure Billy Flowers hypnotized me into doing that job. Only I still don't know why. Well, you might be right, Harry. Why don't you ask him? Eh? Hello, Harry. Hey, what is this? Jack? It's a pity you chose to break out. You would have been much safer inside. What do you mean? They want to kill him? Into the tunnel. Harry! Oh, no, not again. <laughs> Back to the wall. All of you, if you please. You have any chance of Desert Rat, were you, to Brook uh, 42? I was one who got away. Oh, good. Well, you may remember this sort of thing. It hasn't got very far to go. As soon as it reaches that mark, it'll blow this place to smithereens and all of us with it. Hand me that cigarette. <laughs> and in a minute, it's not going to make it stop blowing up. There are bombs like that. I've seen one blow the side of a house. I... Yeah, I always thought you were pretty bright, Billy. We've got, uh, ten seconds now. Let me have you! Hold it! Hold it! Bloody hell. Up against that wall, if you please. Uh, four. This guy's crazy. What are we going to do with this, aren't we? We'll think of something. Mm -hmm. It's going to be all right now. Yeah, you bet it is. They all going to go to prison instead? It's quite a bluff. You heard me believing it. Oh, haven't you heard about these things? Uh, we use them an awful lot during the war. You mean you weren't bluffing? No. I must confess, I really frightened myself for a moment. This was quite different from the other stories, actually. I didn't feel as though there was as much peril in this story as they were the previous three. The whole setting at the fairground, though, just seemed to be like, oh, my God, because I said at the start, oh, you know, it could be underground, it could be like a, a fair. And for it to be a fair was quite interesting, like that there was this guy who was friends with people who worked here, he worked here himself, his mum worked here, and he was basically hypnotised and set up by people that worked here. We don't know why though they said they hypnotized him at a party took him to the fair stole all the day's takens which was like five grand split it about between about four or five people and then he went to prison for it but he never remembered doing it because of the hypnotism and it's interesting that because like i'm like this thing happened and we don't know what their motive behind it was because it i thought that's i just found that quite odd like i like to know things and because it was kind of left up in the air it always kind of freaks me out a little bit i liked this story my favorite thing about this the last two episodes especially is steed that guy is the most charismatic person i have encountered in a long time his smiles his demeanor the way he speaks his cadence how he is with people how he just takes on any role like looking after those girls who were the dancers and then him doing his espionage the amount of people that he knows when he was hypnotized himself when he was talking to billy and billy was asking who he worked for and he was like i don't know i don't know this guy is just like an absolute complete enigma and I absolutely adore him for it and at the end that whole will he won't he with the cigarette will it blow up won't it blow up for it to only be a real thing that people would use and he even said I scared myself at one point because he didn't know whether or not it was gonna go I was like this guy is a loose cannon but I love him for it. It's going to be interesting to see how season two moves along because obviously the full season's there. So their relationship, how that progresses, I think is going to interest me quite a lot. I love that Steve just randomly then had a dog. And I do really like that Carol is still around because I feel like Carol just kind of gives us that nice little perspective, especially last story when we went to the circus. She kind of adds something that I think really works well in the dynamic of the three of them like the bickering she has with steed about him leaving and going on holiday while she went off to the cinema i just like this a lot like it's actually quite nice i love how they film it as well they obviously back in these days they film things a lot differently to how we film things today like especially and i actually quite like how this is filmed and it just appeals to me and i kind of i don't know i feel like i'm more involved in it because of how they filmed it it's like filming a play and you know my background is theater so it's like it's interesting to watch this in the way that they do this and i like it i really do like it quite a lot i may just go start season two and i will see you guys later so thank you